Esmura was founded by a group of hunters about 300 years ago. History has it that the hunters used to gather there because it was the only place they could find water. Though a well, it was dug by elephants, hence the name Asuna Ebura. However, Asuna Ebura had been corrupted. It's now been referred to as Esmura, which in Akan means the elephant's well. Esmura has now caught the attention of bird watchers globally because of the white neck rock fowl, which is also known as Picathartes gymnocephalus. The name is derived from the Latin word pica, meaning black and white, and Catharthes vulture. It is among Africa's top five most endangered birds and listed as vulnerable by the UN. This mysterious bird provides an almost mythical massy challenge for many keen birders. It is a striking bird with black and white feathers and a bright yellow face. The white neck rough fowl feeds on snails and it takes about six months to eight months to build its nest, which is made up of mud and dry weeds. The bird can only be found in Ghana, Guinea, Sierra Leone, Liberia, and Cote d'Ivoire. The first of the white neck rock fowl species ever to be obtained in the world was found in Ghana by a collector in 1874. However, it had not been seen in Ghana since the 1960s and was thought to have been extinct in the country until 2003 when it was rediscovered. Mr. James Obin is the wildlife division manager in the Gorsu district and was among the team which first sighted this rare bird in the Subin forest in 2003. We're collecting specimen for museum when uh, and we're setting up mist nests when this bird accidentally ran into our nest and we caught it. We videotaped it and took it to the village, showed it to the hunters and one hunter claimed he had seen the nest of this bird. So he took us straight to the breeding site where we named breeding site one. Experts say its total population is now estimated at 10,000. And its rediscovery places Ghana at a peculiar position, but there isn't much information on this bird. Mindful of this, in 2007, a UK-based NGO, F-Watch Institute, and a Ghanaian NGO, Nature Conservation Research Centre, and Nimont, Ghana, joined forces to gather data on the white-necked rock fowl. Patrick Ajawuda is an ecologist and is the leader of the research team. Patrick said as part of the research, a chip has been fixed to one of the best feathers and this helps them to monitor the movement of this rare species. Rockfowl is a very charismatic bird. It is a well sought after bird by people who are interested in birding. You know, the birding industry or bird viewing industry is a multi-billion industry and Ghana has a resource. And I think as a country, there's enormous economic potential that we can draw from uh, developing ecotourism around rockfowl. Kenya is noted for being one of the few countries in Africa that earns millions of dollars from ecotourism. Annually, the government of Kenya earns foreign exchange worth about $500 million from sightseeing of animals and birds. This implies that the sight of this bird, which the people in the Smura called Anami, has the potential to help Ghana increase their revenue generation. Though the project is quite young, it has in a way helped change the economy of Esmura. This is because in every three months, the researchers send 30 volunteers into the area to help undertake the first ever detailed research on the white neck rock fowl in the world. So far, about $400,000 have been spent in the, the advocacy role the played by the conservationists in the community the has gone down well with even school children joining the campaign the to protect the white also, neck some women in the community have also been employed as cooking staff, with the farmers now getting ready market for their produce. The involvement of the people in the community as tall guys has brought some significant changes. Apart from the economic benefits, some hunters who used to end their livelihood in the forest are now championing the campaign for conservation of the white neck rock fowl and other species. Abuwa nunyimdea kwa minimfa honi se. Sa abuwa weye abuwa biya 
a bit me any of us who pee every no so. Now, one also, no home and grow a mind be brave or honoma, a buano, any so. A Michael Crabina, a buano so. Now, a buano, my bit is a gana, a buony blue so ah, so ba a sumla high walk or my gun ma, a buony zoo ha. Ye walk forest reserve me and our hanoma, but I couldn't be forest reserve. Ah, a buano, they say, will locate you forest name. Anna, a buano, where a boy be a. Bet me, I'm a puntu about my name, and I said, I bred my gun. The research on the white neck rock fowl will end in October 2011, but data gathered so far show that there are 18 adult pairs of the bird at Bipotuntum, Bonsambepo, a Yum and Subim Forest Reserves. Analysts say the garden of data on the bird puts Ghana at an enviable position in the world. But what matters most now is for both the government and the private sector to take the research package it nicely and market it locally and internationally. Also, the wildlife officials should join hands with the Sumura community to promote and enforce laws pertaining to the conservation of the forest in order not to disturb the habitation of the white neck rock fowl. Edward Nyakun, reporting for GTV News at the Yum Forest in the Bonahabo region.